We represent many women who were sexually abused by Dr. Robert Haddon at Columbia University Hospital, now known as Presbyterian Hospital. Dr. Haddon was a gynecologist at the hospital from the early 1990s all the way through 2013. Unfortunately, many women reported that they were being touched inappropriately by Dr. Haddon during their exams to the hospital, and nothing was done about it. We have witnesses who go back to the early 1990s who reported him, and nothing happened. These cases are very difficult for women. One of the reasons they're difficult is because many women, when they were being examined by Dr. Haddon, did not even realize they were being sexually abused. And that's because Dr. Haddon molested women under the guise of performing legitimate medical exams. We know from our clients that Dr. Haddon would give prolonged breast exams. He would give pelvic exams, sometimes without a glove. He would often have the chaperone leave the room or never even have them enter the room so there was no nurse in the room when he was performing his exams on these women. Many women felt it was strange, awkward, weren't sure was this appropriate or not because it was in the middle of a medical exam. Sometimes they would tell family, spouses, co-workers even, and friends. And then sometimes they would not go back because they were unsure about what was happening. And sometimes they just, women continue to go back because they thought it was in their heads. Um, this, of course, is not the patient's fault. This is part of the scheme that Dr. Haddon engaged in to allow himself to continue to molest these women. But what shouldn't have happened was when the first woman reported Dr. Haddon being inappropriate is that an investigation should have been done and he should have been removed. Of course, we now know that wasn't done again and again and again. So now, through the Adult Victims Act, which was enacted by the New York legislature last year, we are able to bring civil lawsuits on behalf of victims of Dr. Haddon. The timeline to bring these cases will expire on November 24th, 2023. And so it's important if you were a patient of Dr. Haddon and you have questions and you have concerns is to get help, to ask professionals who can answer your questions. Um, and so these cases we think are very important. Uh, many women have been going about their lives not wanting to think about this and it's kind of popping back in their heads um, and they're unsure. Uh, they're unsure about what happened. But when they hear the stories of other women, of other survivors, um, I think that begins the healing process because you understand that you're not alone. Um, it wasn't in your head, um, and what happened to you was wrong, and it should not have happened. Um, in our system of justice, all that we can do is to bring a civil lawsuit for money damages. Um, there is no magic wand. There's no stamp of the fingers. But hopefully, by having a voice and standing up uh, enables you to heal in new ways. And having a measure of justice can often be an important part of the healing process. The reason I think Herman Law is well suited to represent you in your claims against the hospital as a result of abuse by Dr. Haddon is because we've been exclusively handling these types of cases sexual abuse cases for over decades. Herman Law is built to exclusively represent victims of sexual abuse. Uh, we have teams of investigators, lawyers, paralegals, and support staff who do nothing but represent victims in sexual abuse cases. And we understand the importance of focusing on helping victims heal, not just the lawsuit. I think they work in tandem when the cases are handled correctly. That means listening to you. That means going at your pace. That means empowering you with our advice, but taking direction from you.